Hi students, welcome to your geography lecture. Here's your teacher Veena Iyer with you today with your last video of your syllabus of sixth standard geography uh, uh, notes is being provided to you and simultaneously in the upcoming videos you will have the sessions of it, the explanation of the lesson. And this is your last lesson of your sixth standard geography syllabus. Hope you all are reached to the end and learnt a lot from all the nine lessons and even the tenth lesson that you will be going through in the next week and upcoming weeks. So once again, I would say you any doubts, children, in any of the lessons or anything like that of any sort, please uh, ask me through the chat box or DCS or the comment section. I'll be surely replying to you and help you out in solving your difficulties and doubts uh, regarding any topic. So today we are here with the notes of lesson number 10, Human Occupations. Points to remember children as usual as we know that in lessons we have these points which are very very important when you revise the lesson or learn some topics to recollect these points are very helpful. Some points listed like human occupations carried out at different levels with respect to production of milk and milk products and its distribution is rearing of domestic animals, obtaining milk from farm animals, processing milk, making milk products and selling in the market. Uh, man undertakes all activities for what for satisfaction of his needs examples of primary occupations farming animal husbandry fishing occupations dependent on primary occupation it's secondary occupation you will have some doubts in this uh, but don't worry i'll be explaining you each and everything uh, in depth in your next video so that time you will understand it fine uh, services which requires a special expertise that is quaternary occupation. Products obtained from processed milk, frequent butter, cheese, milk, milk powder. Examples of tertiary occupation, transport of goods, loading, unloading of goods, sale of goods. Now you will uh, ask me, Miss, what is tertiary, what is secondary? Worry not, you will have your next video with all the explanation, uh, with images and you know definitions and much more. So wait for that, just some days and you will get the explanation of the lesson. Activities which are directly dependent on nature and whose products are obtained directly from nature is primary occupation. Now fill in the blanks children. Occupations which are dependent on nature, primary occupation. Serving as a bus conductor is a tertiary type of occupation. In the tropical areas we mainly see primary occupations. Now Amol's granny sells papads and pickles. This is a secondary occupation. Processed products are more durable. That is it stays long. Okay. Name the following. Any two products obtained from processing milk at milk processing center, butter, cheese. Any two animals domesticated by man, cow, buffalo. Occupation which is directly dependent on nature, primary occupation, which is dependent on primary occupation is secondary occupation. Countries which have more manpower engaged in primary activities, that is developing countries like India. Now, in this lesson, as such, you don't have an answer in short or one sentence in your textbook exercise part. But uh, so everything is included in your geographical reasons. That is, give reasons. Uh, even I have done the same. The type of occupation determines a person's income. Why? Occupation is a job, a person's role in society, wherein a regular activity is carried out for income. Certain occupations bring greater economic benefits to the relate, uh, society and the nation at large, while certain occupations bring relatively less economic benefits. Similarly, some occupations require higher level of knowledge and skill, while some can be carried out with little or no skill or expertise. Person's income is proportionate to the economic benefit his occupation brings with it and the land of his knowledge and skill. So the type of occupation determines a person's income. Primary occupations are associated with developing countries with tertiary with developed countries. And now let's know the reason for it. Countries which are developing have low income. Okay. And as they are, they are in the state of development, their main source of income comes from the production carried out in primary sector. But when it comes to developed countries, they are rich with high income. So they practice tertiary occupation. They have enough money to invest in business, which creates tertiary occupations, which require huge investment. Quaternary occupations are not commonly seen. 
require quaternary occupations are occupation which require special knowledge skill and expertise this sector involves in well developed countries and requires skilled workforce apart from sufficient money to invest in fields like it that is uh, you know your sector of information technology uh, research and development quality testing etc define the following primary occupation occupations which directly depend on nature are called primary occupations like farming animal husbandry mining foresting fishing secondary occupation occupations dependent on primary occupations are secondary occupations like food processing manufacturing construction tertiary occupations are occupations which provide complementary services to primary and secondary occupations uh, like transport of goods commercial services loading and unloading goods sale of goods quaternary occupations are which require special expertise and special skills like quality testing of food products inspection and maintenance and information technology that is it so here we are done with our notes of the lesson please children wait for some more days you will get the explanation of the lesson till then have a nice day write all the notes in your book and learn it well bye see you very soon